When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge. It says, That's this country, bro. They made lies our refuge. Well, I'm a pine, gin, sis, whatever the fuck you want to know. No, you're going to be a man or a woman or a child at at that day. You might have to just take your death head on. You might have to take it. You know, put, put on the woman. Lord, don't give a fuck about that. You don't die. But, right. Hold up. I'm, I'm brawling. He said the mighty man going to cry that bitterly in that day. He ain't going to give a fuck about none of that, man. Right. Oh, but I got all this money. He don't care. Oh, but I don't got no mom for it. It's a trial. The Lord don't give a shit. If you don't know him, he don't know you. He right. don't kill you. And other falsehood have we hid ourselves. Damn. Therefore, let's say to Yahweh, power. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone. Yeah, how is that? That's, that's what the Lord is laying as that foundation. If you're going to build anything, you have to begin with the foundation. And if you ain't building upon your house, shy, hey, when the winds come and, and the, the waters and the rains beat upon your ass, you're going to fall to nothing if you don't have the foundation, which is Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. It says, a sure foundation, he that believeth shall not make haste. Yeah, you ain't gonna move quickly and make haste and make mistakes. You're gonna trust in the Lord. Because, hey, before Peter got on that water, he said, Lord, that be you. He bid me to come out on the water. And he said, Come on. He, he waited for, for the answer, for he just jumped out there. For the command. He, he waited for the command. Right. Right? We, we waited for our captain's command. Right. We ain't about to just, you know, just go at it. You niggas that are in these other camps, y'all just moving on your own accord, not knowing that you about to fall to nothing. You about to be broken by that stone. You about to trip over this stone. Well, hey, we waiting on that soldier's march. Oh, so, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Green light. It says, judgment also while I lay to the line. Lord's laying it to the light. He, he's making a line in the sand. It's like he's writing <laughs> niggas' sins in the ground. Like, and he's just talking to you and he's like, <laughs> and righteousness to the plummet, and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies. In hell, in yeah, hell, this week, yeah. I, but the hell is sweeping away the refuge of lies for you niggas, man. Now he's talking about hell. Like what? I'm talking about hell is just the grave. But what is what is going to be hell? We're in hell. But what's going to be the hell fire? Nuclear fire. Right, right, right. It says, and the water shall overflow. And that water is talking about the truth. Right? It's, it's coming in at all areas and shit, like on a fucking uh, Prince of Egypt and shit. The Pharaoh was like, no, and he's trying to hold back the water, blew his ass away. Yeah. But really, it killed him, according to the script. But it was a child's movie, so they don't want to show it <laughs> and shit. But that's you niggas. Y'all trying to hold back yeah. the course of the river, this word, it's still going to blow your ass away. Like the MOTB. You niggas were saying it was an embargo, all this. But now you start to see clearly what the apostles seen years ago through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemash, what it truly is. A grain of rice. That's going to go under your skin. That's going to have all your information on it. That's going to be in the digital system. And if you're not a part of that system, you're good as dead. Or you're going to be killed, beheaded, taken out of here. Yep. Up. And the waters... Shall overflow the hiding place. <laughs> niggas are trying to hide. Oh, oh, niggas hide like they in the Titanic and shit. Getting washed away, man. Finishing off, it says, And your covenant with death Woo! shall be disannulled. Oh, the Lord's like, Oh, you made a covenant with death, like, that's disannulled, whatever, man. He gonna, he gonna get that out of there, like. You can't make a covenant with death, and the Lord don't know about it. He knows about it. 
And now the Lord's like, okay, I'm going to fulfill that covenant. I'm going to whack your ass. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die. Because now, Jake, you have a chance to repent, man. Yep. All Jake, really, because we don't know who the elect is. But we know that there's a number that the Lord is requiring among this nation. And it's the largest nation on the face of the earth. So you niggas and you lads and you featherheads have a chance. So take the chance before it's too right. late. Right. Yeah. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. It shall not stand. So this place is hell. You think E going to last forever? No, his time is coming to an end. Right. This nigga is being revealed by his own kind. Hey, He's being I, revealed by the truth. They got this show on uh, on Netflix called the uh, the Murdoffs. Damn. And it's about this this uh, very wealthy Edomite family in South Carolina who like murdered uh, a bunch of people, and, and they they've been used to getting away with it. They they have the sheriffs paid off. Damn. They will go to court, get a leave. But now in uh. In 2023, the main nigga, the, the father of the family, he's in court right now. And, and it's looking like all the evidence is pointed towards him. And in the show on uh, Netflix, because it just came out, it, it was a, a voice recording of him in jail. He was on the phone with his son. He was like, hey, did Netflix put something out about all this? So he don't even, he don't even know that he threw, because now the whole world like knows what oh. his family's been doing. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's like a little spiritual sign for Esau as a whole. Yep. He's strong. Yeah, well, you have uh, these crime families, when you look at uh, the, the Clintons and shit, they have uh, triple figures of deaths, hundreds of deaths that uh, were mysterious that were linked to them. Huh? See? So they they, yep. they knocking people off no yeah. fucking problem. And then, these my family. Yeah, yeah, that's what they go to in the uh, in the show. The nigga uh, murdered his um, housekeeping lady to take out an insurance policy. Got wow. like four forty three million. The wow. nigga murdered his uh, wife and his son at and, the end, and, and then shot himself to make it seem like you know somebody. Came me. Yeah, 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 just a, a devil, and he's being revealed. That's beautiful, man. And, and if that's happening to the devil, right? How much more you niggas, man? Mm -hmm. That's that's under this dude. Like he paid people off and like she keep quiet, but fucking everything's coming out on him. That was well hid. That was his power, of secrecy, and these fucking devils are coming out to be seen. How much more you niggas that think you gonna hide under his shade, under his shadow, under the shadow of Egypt? Right. It's gonna be your shame, your confusion, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, finishing off, he says, now, let the brother make uh, the church say more to them that go to Egypt for help. There it is. That's right, bro. He says, and your agreement with hell shall not stand when the overflowing scourge shall pass through. Uh -huh. Then shall you be trodden down by it. Woo! Trotting down by it like it was like them demons that came out of the, uh, the portal on a uh, hellbound and shit. It was just like three niggas that came up and they were just fucking people up. So that's what the Lord is going to use as a score. It's going to be a spirit out here to fuck people up. It's like, like where they at, you know? You know? So, Jake, it's time for you to stop fucking playing, man. The Lord hates America. The Lord is tired of you playing your little fucking games. Disneyland is closed. Get your fucking act right, man. You see what's going on? My like brother's disgusting. In the West, when it's supposed to be like heat and hot and shit, it's blizzards and fucking snow. And in the East, when it's supposed to be blizzards and snow, it's fucking heat. 90 degrees and shit, man. Sweltering fucking heat. So it goes to show you what the Lord is doing right now. He's showing you that he's here, man. He's showing you that he's fucking the earth up towards evil. But he's keeping his men preserved. Like the brothers said, we are here in the elements. Brothers that's slowed in, there's brothers that's, that can't make it on the roads, they still doing shows, it's going live. We still pushing out the word. Still doing the work of y'all by Shemel Shai. Man, it never ends, it never stops. Energize the bunch. That was it, King? God. God. Yes, I got a piece Go ahead, huh? This is 2nd Ezra 16. In verse 18, Woo. the beginning of sorrows Woo. and great mourning, huh. the right. beginning of famine what? and great death. Hey, the beginning of famine and great death. Famine going into lack of resources. Certain people, I think it's like almost maybe like 53 or 63,000 people 
back east or without power still yeah. going through it like what the fuck without power imagine it's cold right. got chemicals in the water you look it up hey out here in california too and out here just, just uh today and, and yesterday they, they said there's thousands across la county without power because it's uh blizzard yeah. crazy the lord <laughs> Motherfuckers in the darkness as in Egypt, you know what they bug it out. Yeah. Then you got the chemicals in the water. And like a brother said, who's to say that that snow ain't got the chemicals from Ohio? Who's to say? And the wind carried it up like yeah. that. And it's cold. I never experienced cold like yeah. this in California nice. before. Nice, bro. I woke yeah. up this morning and, and just like we could see our uh, breath talking, yeah. that's how I was in my house. This morning. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. 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 And then one one dude was telling me he didn't like dude, you know, he had bought me a beer or whatever last night. We was just talking. He's from Alaska and he's like, oh, it's crazy, man. He's like, I was in my he's like, I was in my house and he's like the windows. I tried to turn the heat on, but the heat just kept escaping and I'm like, those windows ain't really made for this type of cold. Right, right, and he's like, right. Yeah, you're right. Like he, he's tripping out. And this dude's from Alaska, where it's always fucking cold. So it just goes to show you we in some unprecedented right. times. Hey, and, and that is ultimately it's the most high literal spirit. Mm -hmm. It's his literal uh, his uh, presence returning upon the earth. That's right. right. That's right. You know? That's right. Good. I continue when it says the beginning of wars Woo! and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of wars, you got race wars, class wars, war to sex, war for your faith, war for food, world war. Many wars is coming and it's already happening. Because people are warned, like, damn, should I go to the store and go to work? Should I, you know, the men and women fucking fighting. The children fighting the old people, old people fighting the children. There's world war on the break. Who blew up the pipeline? It's like, it's international incidents is everybody. Yeah. What, did, uh, what did Trump say last week? We've been using the N-word more than ever before. It starts with the N, ends with the R. Nuclear. Oh, <laughs> shit. There it is. Yeah, uh, nuclear uh, and niggas. Yeah, nuclear uh, and niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> it says, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? The beginning of bad times. What are you going to do when these bad times come? Most, most people, a uh, lady was in her goddamn car, the wind blew the tree down. Bah! Killed her ass. Then you got the, the, the trees falling power out. Yep. Motherfuckers is snowed in to the cold. N nigga uh, got, uh, like, the one nigga in Texas was like, I'll pay anybody to just warm me up or something. Just talk to me. Niggas is going through it out here in Cali because they ain't experienced no cold like this. So, you know, and you you stupid ass harlots, man. You you know you go to your house and shit. Ain't got nothing worth of warning. You just threw in your house. And you can't get out. Because brothers that snowed in can't really hit the road because you ain't got, like, the tires for that. Cause you know you got tires back east that's made for snow and ice. The tires we got on our car, they ain't made for that. I don't know. You gonna be slipping and sliding on the fucking road and be destroyed. Go ahead, I continue. It says, Behold, famine and plague. Famine and plague. Right. Famine going into the lack of resources. Certain right. people need medicine. Yeah. Certain people need that. Certain people need this. Yeah. Certain yeah. people need things to uh, yeah. decontaminate, like uncontaminate the water. You know, you use certain chemicals to, yeah. Yeah. to, to uh, clean the water. Yeah. They need stuff like that, but they can't get it to them. Because if a truck can't get to you, or the supplies can't get to you, you through. So it ain't just food that they need. They need like electricity, they need power, they need energy. They need all these things. Clean lack, water. Clean water, lack of resources. It says, Famine and plague, Woo. tribulation plague, and pain. Plague, plague. Now what's the plague out here? Train, you know? Niggas is, is sliding and shit, niggas. And you got the chemicals in the water that's uh, uh, highly, highly, uh, you know, uh, toxic, toxic, man. And you, who's to say what that's going to do with the people with the juicy you know, plague, plague. And then if you close to an uh, asshole with the, with the juicy juices, he just right here next to you. You getting it. It's like transferring to you and shit. Like, that. Hey, hey, the new age. Play, play. Yeah, it's, it's a new age. Go ahead, Rocky. It says tribulation and anguish. Tribulation. This brother brought out that word means a uh, oppressing together. together. Yeah. So your ass is being oppressed and niggas in their house depressed. Trouble. Go. Go ahead, Rocky. It says in anguish. Woo, in anguish. That, that's a mental thing. Can a brother look at the word anguish? It's both not only physical, 
but it's been to the plague of the mind. Plague of the mind. Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. You know? Go ahead, huh? It says our scent is scourges for amendment. So the Lord is whooping people ass, just like y'all shot whooping niggas out the tip of what he's whooping niggas and animals, she's whooping everybody ass, man. So the Lord was is whooping Babylon's ass and the animals. Yep. Animals yeah. dead in the river, they dead. Yeah. Oh, man, the shit, they the Lord is whooping everybody's ass, yep. man. Amen and peace. Because the animals are through too, because what this devil's doing is he speaks to like and he's uh feeding them things that they shouldn't even be eating. Yeah, like like he's feeding cows. Owls, bullshit. Chicken is eating corn, which they only should be eating grass. So the animals are defiled. Mm -hmm. They passing uh, bestiality laws over there in so Europe. Now, now they defiling oh, the animals. Uh, Damn. So the animals got to go too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, 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 they, no, he, he's not lying. In, in like 39 states in America, zoo, zoophilia. It's called zoophilia. Is, uh, uh, the, uh, the proper term name for it. It's, it's legal, man. Yeah, the, in certain of these countries, they have uh, uh, brothels, but but it's nothing but animals. Wow. So, yeah. uh, and of course, in, 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 the, in the image that I seen going into that article, Edomites. it was all Edomites. Yeah. 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 Hey, crazy the Lord because now you know, it, 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 you, you niggas, man, you niggas, you, you fucking clown these other camps in your life. Well, why? Don't even know that. I'll be out you got America. For that reason right there, that's just one reason. But then you enslave the Lord's people another reason. You killing the animals, third reason. The fourth reason is no morality. So there's so many reasons why the Lord has to destroy this place. Now you see why the Lord must destroy this place. And the only way to cleanse it is by way of what? Fire. 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 And the Lord going to bring more fire, more fire to this right. fucking place, man. That was it, King? That was it. And brother got the word anguish? Yeah, right. Yeah, he got it. It says a severe mental or physical pain <laughs> or suffering. There it is. Read it again. Read it. Read. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hold on. Oh, freeze. <laughs> it, says, man, it's it says severe mental or physical pain. Severe mental if it said mental first, then physical pain. Or suffering. Suffering. Kill. That's what's out here. That's the spirit. Kill. That's, that's what is going on right now. The pale horse has been unleashed. Not right. It said that men shall uh, uh, kill one another. Uh, uh, hunger. It said wild beasts. And it said death. This has been unleashed on the fourth part of the earth. In America. So more of it is coming. And then Brother Red. The beginning of sorrows, great death, wars, evil, famine. That was it. Yeah. This is uh, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, beginning at verse 8. And it reads, The mighty Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? Man. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? It, there it is. The Lord is casting lightning. You know what, what comes after lightning? Thunder. <laughs> right? So when the Lord is speaking, the, the, the men of the Lord was speaking, the apostles, our elders, speaking, things start happening on the earth. Uh, Prophecy. Just as Moses and Aaron, they spoke to Pharaoh, like, all right, bro, through tripping, <laughs> they best believe. This is gonna happen. Boom, and it happened. Then he got bugged out and oh, oh, please pray to your God and just take it away. <laughs> then he took it away. And then told him something else. Alright, the Lord's gonna bring another. Right, right, right. If you refuse to let Israel go. At this time, the Lord is only coming for the elect. Right. The Lord is still in the elect. With everything that's happening, some of our people gotta get shook up. Oh shit, the turn. Others of us just hear it and you got it. Right. So the Lord is shaking up the earth to let you know he's not fucking around. Hey, right. I, so Pharaoh had ten chances. Ten. Uh -huh. Perfection. <laughs> yeah. Ten chances, but the Lord just kept hardening his heart. <laughs> and that's that's how you know the Lord is the power, man. He is of a true power because you don't think Pharaoh in his right mind wants to just give up. Like he wants to just give up. But the Lord's like, nah, I wanna keep fucking him up. Well I by him not giving up meant the sure destruction of Egypt. Woo! 
if you would have gave in, they would have had uh, some some more to thrive right. and to try to rebuild. Yeah. But the more he kept going, the more fucking through Egypt got. That's right. <laughs> so it's according to Most High's purpose. Hey, right. right. in the modern day pharaohs, weak ass Biden, tripping and falling, he can't get up. But you know what? He just tripped. Yeah. 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 Yeah.